My name is Michael Seidman. I am a surgeon and I am a scientist and a nutritionist and hopefully you've had a chance to see my introductory a uh, little brief talk to tell you about my credentials, but I've studied aging in the laboratory for more than 20 years, and it's important to have an understanding about aging so you can understand how to affect it in a positive way. Briefly, aging is a series of biochemical and physiological processes that lead to an increased production of free radicals or reactive oxygen species. It's the logic of biting into an apple and it turns brown. It's the same logic as rusting. That's an oxidative process. And those things are, generally speaking, uh, harmful processes. And many people will talk about aging or rusting from the inside out. And there are ways to positively affect that, which has been basically what I've studied for the past 20 years through funds from the National Institutes of Health and other sources. And ultimately, these free radicals damage the molecules and damage the cells in your body and cause disease and finally death. Um, in my thesis that I wrote in 2000, you can see that aging process deals with a reduction in blood supply, formation of reactive oxygen metabolites, DNA damage, decreased energy production and ultimately death. And you can in, basically involve yourself in any of these places and actually slow the process. One of our patents looks at the human mitochondrial DNA genome that you can see here. 16,569 base pairs, bear with me for a minute. And we found out that there is a common aging deletion where you lose 4,977 base pairs, roughly a third of the human mitochondrial DNA genome. So it doesn't take rocket science to figure out that if the mitochondria is critical for energy production, ATP, you may have heard that in biology, that a small perturbation, a small abnormality can cause significant problems, and indeed it does. So really, when you think about aging, it's associated with molecular, biochemical, physiologic, and morphological and behavioral changes. You see an increase in free radical damage, an increase in DNA damage, and oxidative stress is a key contributor to not only the aging process, but also to most medical disorders, ranging from heart disease to stroke to Parkinson's and other neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's disease, for example. And our laboratory has focused on treatment strategies, antioxidants, and novel strategies to mitigate the effects of these free radical damages. So although I don't think I want to look like this when I'm 100 years old, I'd like to feel like this. And you can see that he's sitting on a bed of broccoli and, uh, and, and other fruits and vegetables. So again, it's a lifestyle choice, things that we have to do, but I also think nutritional strategies can help as well. We know that animals with longer lifespans have higher antioxidant levels. There is evidence that dietary increases in antioxidants can increase lifespan, help with exercise capacity. It's some of the work that I've done with a lot of the professional athletes to help them enhance their stamina and their ability to perform safely, effectively, and legally. Um, it's also been shown that you can reduce certain types of cancers through appropriate dietary modifications. In our laboratory and others around the world, we've studied many different novel antioxidants, many of which are in the formulas that I recommend people to take. In the formula that we've developed, and it's actually um, a patented formula, it's called the Anti-Age Energy Formula, it has four main ingredients, acetyl-L-carnitine, which has been shown to restore mitochondrial function, so it makes the mitochondria work better. It's been shown to basically reduce age-related hearing loss and to enhance memory uh, in humans. Some of these studies were not done in my lab, but they were done in labs at Italy and at actually at the University of California, Berkeley. Alpha-lipoic acid is another ingredient in the anti-age energy formula. It's a very powerful antioxidant, and it's been used in Europe for more than 30 years for diabetic neuropathy, where you get numbness of your feet or painful feet from the end stages of diabetes. It can help. We've also shown that it can improve cognitive ability, thought processes, and improve age-related hearing loss. It's the basis of a book that I was asked to write, and it was the basis of my being on Good Morning, Good Morning America a couple of years ago, and also lecturing to uh, Congress a few years ago about our men and women operating in Operation Iraqi Freedom having significant issues, and we believe that we can help. Uh, we were awarded a patent. It has the acetyl L-carnitine, alpha-lipoic acid, coenzyme Q10, and an absorbable, form of, an absorbable form of glutathione. And what we've shown is that the mitochondria can safely produce more energy and function more efficiently. In another lab, it was shown that animals actually had improved their aging process. So it was put in the drinking water of, of animals that were roughly 90 years old in human years. After six weeks of putting it in their drinking water, they behave and act like 
basically 18 month old animals or in, in their age from 36 to 18 would be like 90 human years to 45 human years. Not uh, a study done in my laboratory but a study done at University of California Berkeley. It's also been shown in Italy to enhance memory and energy in humans and we've shown that we can help with hearing loss. It's protected by a couple of patents as you can see here. And we're very excited about the formula. You take two pills a day, and this is also part of our uh, pack for men and pack for women if you care to take it all together. But two a day with food, because it's acidic, so it can bother your stomach a little bit. So you want to take it with a meal and a full glass of water. A small percentage of people still get a little bit of heartburn, probably about 1 or 2%. You take one more full glass of water, and it always goes away. So thank you for your attention, and uh, hopefully you will uh, supplement wisely.